2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Overview. Not only does the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia look fantastic, it also offers one of the most satisfying driving experiences in its segment. Its sharp handling and gutsy turbocharged four-cylinder are a perfect pair for enthusiast drivers, and it means the Giulia is equipped to take on rival sports sedans such as the BMW 3 Series, the Genesis G70, and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. While perhaps not as luxurious as those sedans, the Alpha's interior is generously equipped and boasts a driver-focused design. Passengers will find the front seat spacious and comfortable, but most adults will feel the pinch in the rear, something most cars in this class have in common. For drivers seeking the ultimate in performance, we'd suggest taking it a look at the Giulia Quadrifoglio model, reviewed separately, which offers a hot-blooded 505 horsepower twin-turbo V6. What's new for 2022? Last year's T-Sport trim has been renamed Veloce for 2022, and a host of new standard features can be found throughout the Giulia lineup. Its infotainment system now benefits from standard navigation and a wireless phone charger, while an auto-dimming rearview mirror, front and rear heated seats, and an air quality system round out the changes to the convenience features. Newly standard driver assistance tech includes blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, automatic high beam headlamps, and front and rear parking sensors. Since the Julia's best trait is its crisp driving dynamics, we double down and go with the mid range T model and spec the performance package, which includes an active suspension and a mechanical limited slip rear differential. Both elevate the Julia's handling dynamics. Rear-wheel drive is standard, and we'd stick with that, but all-wheel drive is available and adds $2,000 to the bottom line. Engine, Transmission, and Performance The Julia's turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder makes 280 horsepower, sounds intoxicating, and feels gutsy when driven hard. The Julia pulls away from stoplights with zeal while singing soaring Italian arias. Our rear-wheel drive test cars 5.7 second 0 to 60 mph time and an all-wheel drive model's time of 5.5 seconds places the Julia mid-pack in its segment in our acceleration testing, the Audi A4 did it in 5.2 seconds and the 4-cylinder BMW 330i managed 5.4 seconds despite that both cars have less horsepower than the Alpha. All Julias come with a drive mode selector with three unique settings, dynamic, natural, and advanced efficiency, cleverly making the acronym DNA, each of which alters the car's transmission, engine management, and steering feel. Agile and lively at all times, the Julia is a driving enthusiast sports sedan. The front tires are very responsive to driver inputs and speak clearly to the driver through the leather-wrapped steering wheel. Body roll is well controlled, and in hard corners the Julia remains flat and predictable. It's easy to drive quickly and aggressively, but it's equally comfortable when driven sedately, fuel economy and real-world MPG. Among its turbocharged four-cylinder rivals, the Julia has competitive fuel efficiency numbers from the EPA, just shy of class leading. Rear wheel drive models are rated at 24 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon highway. All wheel drive models see a slight deficit at 23 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway, but that's common in this class. In our real world highway fuel economy test, our rear-wheel drive T-test vehicle nearly delivered on its EPA number with a 32 miles per gallon result. For more information about the Julia's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The interior of the Julia features soft-touch plastics, fine leather, and either textured metallic or genuine wood trimmings. It's an elegantly styled cabin, with a wide, sweeping dashboard that acts as a visor to shade the integrated infotainment screen from the sun. 
The seats are comfortable and well bolstered, especially the optional sport seats. Pack your sunnies, though, the Julia sun visors are laughably small and ineffective when driving head-on into the sun. The Julia managed to fit five of our carry-on cases inside its trunk, with its rear seats folded, it managed 14, lagging segment leaders by one carry-on all Julia's feature Alfa Romeo's 8.8-inch touchscreen.